Hey Ricky, how's it going? Another uh, day working on the car. Yeah, so uh, you're still whining about this car shaking on the top end? It does. It does. Oh. Okay, so what we, we figured out is the pitman arm was shot. We replaced it, and, and it, it still shakes. It's a little bit better. And the um, idler arm looks like it shot as well. So what yeah. we want to show you, so I got a new idler arm. It's a Moog idler arm, and we'll look at that in a moment. But I'm going to show you how we figured this out. Ricky's with the car on the ground. Ricky's going to move the steering back and forth, and I'm going to show you how the joint has got a lot of slop in it. Yeah. Okay, Ricky, so if you notice in the video how the tie rod end was tight, but the, the uh, idler arm had a lot of slop. Yeah. And when you get slop in the idler arm, not only does it throw your alignment off, it, it gives you some vibration in your steering as well, and it can cause the car to shake. So what do we got? Um, Here's the new idler arm. Okay, so it's a Moog part number K7086. And I did find out it is the same for manual or power steering. So we'll put a grease zerk in it. They gave us a new bolt. Yeah, yeah, all the new hardware, and I wasn't around to help you <laughs> with the other ones, so the pitman arm. So, so you're you're going to be doing this one. So yeah. look at the hardware, see what size bolt, uh, see what size wrench we need, and let's get this thing apart. All right. Uh, we don't have use of the lift because it's occupied. So we're going to do this one on the ground. I think we'll put it up on ramps to make it easier to get it under it. Yeah. All right. Let's get her up in the air. Okay. okay. We're going to catch Ricky working here, so pay attention. So we got. Two uh, nuts to get off here. We have a castle nut, which we're going to remove first so that we can uh, bust this joint free here. Yeah, I can't and get then, under there and see it very well. but Right. And then we'll get uh, this other nut off and then should come right out. Yeah. So we'll get the uh, pickle fork over here so we can bust that loose. But go ahead and pull that nut off. I'll get the pickle fork and we'll get after it. They don't need to hear all this racket. All right. So if you don't know, hang on, Ricky. If you don't know... This is a taper joint, and you use a pickle fork. It's got a taper, and that goes over, and you smack it with the hammer. Or a pneumatic tool. We're going to use a hammer in this case, and we'll bust it apart with that after the bolt's off. The uh, the other one came off pretty easily. It's because we had it off a hundred times. This one hasn't been apart in a while. Oh, yeah. Um, so the other thing, you never want to smack the end, and you'll mushroom your threads out. And so worst case, if you have to hit it here, you need to put the bolt on, or the nut on, upside down. Um, and that's really as a last resort. All right, we'll let Ricky get in there, and there you go, and there's a hammer. Have at it. Did you get it already? Yep, that was Is that loose? Easy. Okay, that was pretty easy, good. So go ahead and take that bolt, that nut and bolt off, and you probably need, um... Oh, it's a well, different that, size. Okay. We'll get you the right socket and get a wrench to hold it at the top. All right. Okay, we're watching uh, John Wilburn's live stream. Everything's a uh, good time there on a Friday night, and uh, we got the idler arm out. What did we find out, Ricky? So this is the new one, if you... See here, I'm nice and gonna, nice and tight. Yeah, well, I go to this one. That's a problem. Didn't That's, you ever, uh, you know, grease these or anything over the years? Oh, I don't know. I think uh, <laughs> apparently not. But uh, yeah, now that we got it replaced, or we'll get it replaced. Take all two seconds to throw it in, and yeah, this is a pretty easy job. So yeah, we got the new one greased up and uh, got brand new hardware. Actually get a cotter pin in it this time, right? Yeah. Yeah. There was nothing wrong with Details, we details. Using. All right. Let's yeah. let's throw her in there and pretty uh, much just reverse process, uh, put the send in, slide this over, drop the bolt in and Yep. What's torque specs on that? FT? Well, at least three Ugadogas. Okay. We'll get it. All right. All right. All right, the new idle arm is in, the new hardware and everything, and uh what was that? About a 10 minute job. Not I even, mean, yeah. So, never probably mind. took you longer to go drive and get the part. Yeah, never, never mind all the grease and oil. On yeah, there. we're, we're, we're working gotta, at it. There are some other problems and we're cleaning that up at, at the moment. Yeah, that's pr pretty sloppy. So, a good safe bet that uh, we may have fixed the problem. Yeah, hopefully. But there's only one real way to test if it's sloppy at the big end and it's to get there. Yep, so, so we're not racing this weekend, but we yeah, are there's racing. No event, there's no event going on, but uh, next Saturday is points race three at Tri-State and Rollville, and we'll be hitting that. Uh, we'll be missing the Sunday event, but as well. Yeah, your we, sister's graduating, so we yep. kind of got to be there. Yep. Yep, got to support so, this. 
So hopefully you have a good point today, Saturday, or next yeah. Saturday to help make up for it. But yeah, hopefully you can back up the success from uh, last weekend and maybe run some more 11s. Yeah, and uh, we're, we're getting close to our 500 on the No Name National, so if uh, you can throw us a sub if you like what we're doing, we'd appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, thanks, guys.